Women in Texas were not allowed to vote until 1918, and even then it was only in the state's primaries. The following year, Texas voted to ratify the 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, which granted women the right to vote in the United States. Seventy years after women secured voting rights, Ann Richards was elected governor of Texas. She was only the second woman in the state's history elected governor. Ann was the first woman to hold the office since Miriam Ma Ferguson served her second term in the 1930s. The former governor has been involved in politics since she was in college. When asked about the gains women have made during her political career, she talked of the progress she's seen in securing equal rights for women. Oh, there's no question that the very fact that young women have the same opportunity in college, that they have a chance to play sports because of Title IX, uh, that they have the right to terminate a pregnancy that doesn't make sense in their life or for the life of a, of a child. Um, the fact that we have equal opportunity in the workplace, all those things would never have happened if those of us who were participants of the women's movement had not been there and fought so hard. Jeannie Morrison is a Republican state representative from Victoria. She was one of 36 women among 181 members of the 78th legislature. We asked her if she thought that being a woman had any impact on being a legislator. Oh, absolutely. I think so. Um, when you look at the numbers of the women in the legislature, and there are very few of us, but uh, the Texas legislature is wonderful to women because in the House, we are definitely equals. I have been to numerous states and conferences and talked to other women legislators in other states, and uh, they don't feel like they're on the same playing field, even though they've been there a long time with seniority, and that is not the case in the Texas House. Uh, the men welcome us, and uh, actually they like our organizational skills. They enjoy, I think, some of those um, assets, and they recognize those, but we are definitely on a level playing field. I just wish that we could encourage more young women to run and have more women in the legislature. But uh, I think definitely being a woman, you see things differently on, on the emotional side of some things and I think it's great to have both, both sides, the male and the female, take on, on issues. Uh, but I think it's made a big difference being a female in the legislature and being a role model for other young women. I think there will be more women that will run. Um, most of us, I would say the majority, are in a stage in our life where our children are out of, out of the home and that we feel like that we can make that commitment. We do have several women that do have younger children, but I think we have experienced you know, the raising of children and can use that expertise also as far as issues and um, but I think we will see more and more women getting into the legislature. When asked about whether she thought women in the legislature felt a particularly strong bond as women, she downplayed the notion that women tended to band together. As women, we all have that common denominator of being together. Uh, and you'll see us rally around each other on issues. But I, I just that camaraderie, I mean, it, it is there. I mean, definitely it's there. But I don't think it's something that we single ourselves out. We don't have a female caucus or anything like that. Uh, we all work together because we work, we work all together so well. The men accept us very easily. And so it's just we're comrades with everyone. And so you see that bond ac across the board, but not necessarily as just a group of one individual group. Representative Morrison paints a portrait in which women seem integrated on an equal plane with men. In what is perhaps a reflection of their differing politics, Governor Richards appears appreciative of the progress women have made, but less than fully content. You sound satisfied. Oh, I'm hardly satisfied. I'm outraged most of the time uh, at how the progress seems to stall how difficult it is for um, young people to realize that their very freedoms are in jeopardy if they're not willing to fight for them. But 
you also have to look back and accept and be pleased that things have changed. Um, my grandmother, uh, during a period of her life, did not have the right to vote. The law in Texas was that idiots, imbeciles, the insane, and women could not vote. And less than one generation later, I was the governor of Texas. Now that will tell you that we have progressed. How about women in office in general? Do you think there's been enough progress in that area in terms of women being elected to office? I think women elected, getting elected to office is a, is a, it's a slow thing. They, women have to prove themselves more than men do. Uh, and we also have the continuing challenge of uh, the fact that we are the ones that have the babies. And everybody wants to know how you're going to take care of a baby and how and, and be in office. Of course, they don't ask that question about how you're going to have a baby and have a job when you have to have the money to help support the guy you married. Um, but that 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 stress in that contest uh, between the importance and the responsibility of child rearing a plus public service on top of it means that you're willing to give a dedication uh, to, of your life and, and an energy in your life that not everyone has, male or female. Our future really has always been in the pipeline. That is, we have to get elected to the local level, city council, county level. We have to then go to the state legislature. Uh, then we might have an opportunity to run statewide. Then we might have an opportunity to run for Congress or the United States Senate. And it, and it takes a long time, a long time to make those changes. It's the same for blacks and it's the same for Hispanics because we're going against the tide. The tide has always been that white males are the ones that are going to occupy these big elective positions. Um, but we have made a dramatic change in this country and it will continue. I expect to see a woman president in my lifetime.